Hi guys, it's really welcome to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page if you're watching on Facebook. So today I have a special guest here, my friend Christine. Hey, hello everyone. <laughs> yeah, so today we are going to do her makeup. Uh, I'm really excited. It's my first time to work on someone of her skin tone. So we are going to do Muzungu makeup today. Yes. Uh, she's really excited and looking forward to it. So let's do the video. Let's start. To begin with, I'm taking the Deep Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This shade is called Chocolates. I have it on a tiny brush and I'm using this to fill in her brows. I'm just using very tiny strokes. And then I'm taking a small brush and just brushing through to even out. And then I'm taking this very light concealer from Wet and Wild and I'm using it to smoothen out the lines of her brows. I'm going to take the excess concealer and apply it on her lid. This is going to act as a base for our eyeshadow. I'm going to take this MAC foundation, the shade is NC45, and I'm going to use this to conceal the upper part of her eyebrow. So I normally like to use a foundation on the upper part of the brow to avoid any harsh lines. I'm going to take this palette uh, by Muffy by Jaclyn Hill as well. It has uh, a variety of shades and we are going to do her eyeshadow. I'm going to start by setting her concealer on her under eyes. So I also noticed that her brows turned out to be really dark. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have any lighter pencil. I think I forgot to get that one. But let's see how the final look comes out. Next, I'm going to take this color right here and apply it in her crease. I'm just applying this in her crease and I'm using a fluffy brush this color right here. I'm going to take it a little bit darker, especially in the, in the corner of her eyes. So I'm going to go back in the first brown color that I put in her crease. I'm going to take a clean brush and I will try to blend everything to remove any harsh lines. So next I'm going to take a shimmery color and I'm going to put this in her inner corners. I've finished her eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take an eyeliner and I'm going to line her eyes. Next we are going to take uh, the MAC False Lashes a Waterproof Mascara and I'm going to add a coat on her natural lashes. So I'm taking this primer from Yadli. So our primer creates a very nice base before we apply the foundation and it also helps to protect the skin against the foundation. So Kristen, how do you feel about your eyebrows? Yeah, they're a bit different than normal. <laughs> a bit dark. <laughs> they're a bit dark. Mm, yes. Yeah. So her brows turned out to be really, really dark, and you might actually take them off and try to give you a more natural brow. So we have a matte foundation here. This shade is MC45. It's her shade. So I'm using a beauty blender to apply the foundation. A beauty blender does a very nice job, especially with the blending and making sure that it's spread evenly. So, uh, Kirsten's brows are really dark. I'm just going to wipe them off. I'm going to use an eyeshadow, this brown color right here. So, eyeshadow actually does brows, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> so, I'm going to take this same MAC foundation. I'm going to use this as concealer because I'm very sure this is her skin tone so so I believe we have better brows right now <laughs> I'm going to take this powder from Maybelline the color is called medium deep it's a light powder and I'm going to dust it all over her face so I'm taking this mascara from MAC again and I'm just coating her lower eyelashes I'm going to take this color right here, this light red color. I like to use it as a blush. This highlight here is called Moonlight. I'll just highlight her nose. 
I'm also going to highlight her cupid's bow. I have a this lip nude lipstick right here. And then I'm also going to use a gloss as well. I'm going to start by lining her lip. I'm using a brown pencil. Oops. So next we are applying a lip gloss on top of her lipstick. I'm using a setting spray from NYX to finish off the look. Ooh, who is this girl? Don't know her. <laughs> Our final look is here. How do you feel? I feel pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty. not sure if this is a casting I know like all the time or if this is a different person. It's a bit a different person, yeah. I did you enjoy the makeup. It was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Okay. Yeah. I also love it. I actually love how it turned out. Mm. I love her eye. You can close your eyes. So I gave her like this really brown <laughs> eyes. It's like a lot of brown. I also tried to match it with a lip, so I really like it how it turned out. Um, Rachel, how was it to do makeup for Muzungu? It was fun, so I've learned, especially with the colors. What I thought is going to look like a brown on her would look like way darker, especially the brows, even the lips. When I just did like a brown lip liner, at first I thought, oh my god, this is so dark, we should change it. She's like, no, 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 let's leave it, let's leave it. So I'm glad it turned out nice. So next time I'm working on such a tone, then I I just know what to do, you know. Ready? Know to do. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, anything else? Good. Yeah, okay. Uh, guys, I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you share your thoughts and your comments with us. We'd like to know what you think. And I hope to bring more people on my channel, not just do makeup on myself. So. I'll see you on our next video. Bye. Bye. -bye.